what can be done to address the successes and challenges facing the health of women and children in Maryland? Well, we are joined by Dr. Michelle Bucknor. She is the Chief Medical Officer with United Healthcare, and she's here with some answers. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to have you here. So let me just start out with this. The United Health Foundation recently issued America's Health Rankings 2021 Health of Women and Children Report. And that report studied the health of more than 58 million women and 73 million children. Tell us a little bit more about this expansive report. Yeah, this is the fifth edition of America's Health Rankings Health of Women and Children Report developed by the United Health Foundation. And the report examines overall health issues across the nation and the time leading up to and the early part of the COVID-19 pandemic. The report found that disparities persist across a wide variety of measures, including measures of physical and mental health among women and children and maternal on infant health and the measures that impact the health, such as education and poverty. Why is this report so important and what can it tell us more about what we can do moving forward? Well, understanding the health of women and children is especially important as both have faced a variety of increasing challenges, especially in key measures of behavioral health, Physical health challenges, including obesity and lack of exercise, continue to impact Americans across subsequent generations as well. Yeah. And the report offers deeper insights than in previous reports uh -huh. into maternal health risk and other urgent public health issues. Overall, the United Health Foundation released data on 118 measures and data from the National Survey of Children's Health captured insights from the early stages of the pandemic. All right, so when I think about this for our state, for Maryland, let's start out with the, the positive. What were some of the, the strengths that we saw in the state of Maryland? Maryland's strengths include a low percentage of women in poverty, high WIC coverage among eligible children ages one to four, a low prevalence of household smoking. We also found that HPV immunization has increased by 43% among adolescents ages 13 to 17, and smoking during pregnancy decreased 28%. That's all wonderful. Are there any areas for improvement or any weaknesses that we should be aware of for our state as well? Yeah, and Maryland, unfortunately, we discovered a high infant mortality rate. Mm -hmm. Obesity rates have increased by 18% among women 18 to 44. Drug deaths have risen 52% among Maryland women, placing Maryland at 44 out of 50 in the national ranking. And wow. Maryland women also rank among the highest nationally when it comes to insufficient sleep. Wow, there's a lot to work on. Again, we don't want to negate all the positive things, but it is important. You're absolutely right from a report like this, just to be aware of the strengths and, and the weaknesses. What about nationally? What were there, were there any notable findings that we noticed across the U.S.? Yeah, behavioral health measures for children highlighted significant challenges before and during the COVID-19 pandemic. For instance, anxiety among children ages 13 to 17 rose 21% between 2017 and 18 and 2019 and 20. Teen suicide increased 26% between 2014, 16 and 2017, 19. And notably the teen suicide rate was 4.7 times higher among American Indian Alaska Native adolescents than black adolescents. Hmm, Additionally, you. negative trends in behavioral health outcomes were potentially exacerbated by the pandemic as Americans entered a nationwide shutdown that increased isolation. Yeah. It, was there anything else in the report that, you know, or that the report uncovered that you wanted to share as well? Yeah, on the maternal health front, yes. um, both maternal mortality and maternal morbidity are rising, especially in certain states among Black mothers. And nationally, maternal mortality increased 16% in 2018 and 2019. As far as physical activity, only 20.6% of children ages 16 to 17 were physically active for at least 60 minutes each day for the past week. And that's the CDC recommendation. Mm -hmm. 
and inactivity among children is affected by many factors we know, including access to safe parks and facilities, access to year round options, neighborhood walkability and safety, organized programs and activities, as well as parental engagement and involvement. Dr. Buckner, we're really appreciative of you shedding light on these statistics and, and telling us exactly you know, what they mean for our own state. Of course, if you want to get your own copy of that full report, you can visit americashealthrankings.org to get that as well. We appreciate you being here. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. 